Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good morning <coughs> my uh, management information system class student uh, to see you again uh, and this is uh, Dr. Rosmani Tasmin I'm going to be lecturing chapter 1 uh, this morning uh, which is titling information systems in global business today <coughs> I hope you are well uh, in spite uh, of our glo global pandemic, COVID-19. So we have to, to take care of ourselves in terms of health, in terms of our social distancing. So I hope you are all healthy so we can continue our business on uh, lecturing for this MIS course. Okay, class, this is an additional ebook uh, for reference. <coughs> which is uh, titling also Management Information System, uh, though perhaps this is a latest uh, version uh, from PSN, which is a 15th edition, also by uh, the same authors, uh, husband and wife, uh, Kenneth Lauden and Jean Lauden. So, uh, can take a look uh, for this book for additional support material for your understanding and reading. As I had mentioned earlier, the, this is Edmodo access code uh, so that you could go to Edmodo platform and retrieve or check information pertaining to our my PowerPoint lecturing materials, uh, lesson plan, and also uh, video, educational video, which uh, is uh, shown in this uh, lecture. So you can see the full video clip uh, in the folder. So check it out by yourself. Okay, <clears throat> first and foremost, our learning objective. So uh, this course, basically, I need to lecture and to make you understand the effect of uh, IS information system on business and their uh, relationship or impact on globalization. And uh, I'm supposed to make you understand and able to explain why IS are so important. It is so essential in business today so that uh, uh, most business have their own IS uh, system to maintain, operate their business. So <clears throat> you need to be able uh, to define what information system is. Its definition, its description, what is its role and function with respect to management, organization, and uh, its technological component. Then, uh, <clears throat> to define the complementing, uh, complementary asset and explain how that information system can really serve or provide or supply added value to organizations. So, <clears throat> and uh, to describe the different academic discipline uh, approaches uh, used to study information system and how it contributes to understanding information system in a different different setting. Last but not least, I'm supposed to make you be able to explain what is meant by uh, socio-technical uh, system with respect to uh, management information system. So it's a technological component, people component and organizational component. Okay, here we are. We start here. <clears throat> okay, uh, <coughs> girls and uh, friends, plus that nowadays we are living and working uh, and studying in the era of uh, the internet. So, a scholar says that internet got three kings. Those three kings are basically uh, uh, server king, uh, secondly, bandwidth king, and the third content scheme. And in order to internet uh, to benefit uh, users, customers, and organizations around the world, they need to have these three kings uh, serving uh, for the purpose of uh, internet uh, operation. So server could be represented by uh, your search engine, uh, like Google or Bing Microsoft, uh, and so on. So bandwidth could be referred to as uh, your internet service provider, such as Maxis, DG, Cellcom, and so on. And the third king contents uh, basically represented by a website 
uh, which house uh, most uh, information available for choice for customer like Amazon, Shopee, and many more. So those are the three kings in internet era. First and foremost, we have to understand what MIS is all about. So what's the role, what's the function, what is contribution? So uh, it is stated uh, here that MIS uh, basically a system that focuses on uh, management of IS system, information system to provide efficiency and uh, effectiveness for managers uh, to make decision making. So remember the key words here, MIS uh, is an information that provides uh, managers to make better uh, decision, uh, efficient decision and effective decision. So this information system could be represented by, for example, purchasing uh, and uh, uh, checking out item at the sup uh, supermarket, for example, transaction processing system. This is the system in which you uh, purchase your item and later they uh, scan the barcode and later uh, you pay how much it costs. So these are basically a cashier system and or better known as TPS, transaction processing system. IS could be derived from an uh, information system that is based on a uh, decision support uh, system for managers so that can uh, they can decide with better accuracy, uh, better lead time for their business. IS could be viewed in the form of expert system like a database system, for example, for doctors in order to diagnose a patient. Uh, based on symptoms uh, or criteria which is normally programmed and uh, uh, coded uh, uh, under this expert system. Or last but not least, uh, IS could be also be viewed from uh, an executive information system. For example, for top management managers uh, or the member would make decision at a higher level so that they can extract information or data uh, quickly so that they can uh, make efficient uh, uh, and effective uh, business decision. What does efficient mean and what does effective mean? Okay, uh, so that MIS could help managers. So by using MIS, it is expected that managers can make more efficient uh, decisions so that they can make better use of their resources. So by having, uh, by deciding certain uh, decision uh, to make, they uh, can have a better usage of uh, resources, labor, uh, or expertise in the organization so that they can achieve efficient uh, percentage level, for example, 98% or 100%. So that is being efficient, how good you are using the resources within the organization. And how does MIS uh, could uh, influence manager to make effective decision? So of course, since MIS is a centralized system in which uh, available for users to use, so here managers can make uh, more effective decision in the form of so that they could achieve their key performance in the indicator in the form of weekly target or monthly target or even yearly target so that they can uh, at the end of the year they can achieve their overall yearly uh, key performance indicator, for example, 95% or 100% or even 110%. So this is what I mean, uh, efficient usage of resources and how close uh, you are to achieving your given target. Those are assisted by management information system. So that is the basic uh, function and role of MIS in, organized, uh, in business organization. Okay, guys and girls, uh, normally uh, we know about this, that uh, nowadays uh, organization uh, operate uh, as at the central core of their business operation are basically the information center or IT center, be it at university uh, as known at PTM. Uh, for example, my uh, lecturing uh, today uh, is uh, also uh, based on the server uh, and it is located there at uh, Pusat Technology Maklumat or IT Center at UTHM and they uh, <coughs> uh, localize uh, uh, the content and later get connected to the internet. So somehow, somewhere, you are always connected to a, 
uh, network and server in order to uh, serve your uh, information needs. In other corporate, uh, in other uh, corporate organization, for example, uh, they call it MIS department, or some of them uh, call it uh, information system department, or even some big multinational company they call it ERP department, enterprise resource planning department. So, the whatever name it is, well, it represents the information technology center. So that signifies how important is information system in many organization. Again, basically, information systems are connecting to uh, uh, separate uh, system. For example, the social system. The social system represents the individual, the employees, the managers who are working among them, interacting among them, socializing among them. They communicate. Uh, there are power structure. There are values among workers that uh, they work uh, for that organization. And the other independent system is basically technical system, which is the hardware and the software itself. For example, the server, the terminal, the network, uh, the communication uh, bandwidth, and so on. So, such as uh, uh, as such, this social system has to interact with the technical system in order to build up uh, the whole working or an operating information system, which is based on this theory by uh, by Eric Tris in 1952. He coined the theory for socio-technical system for organization, which is based on uh, information uh, system framework. Now, let's take a look how information system are helping business or could uh, assist uh, business to be transformed into a faster decision-making uh, organization or into a uh, better performing organization. In the first place, uh, you could take a look on the mobile platform because normally if marketers or marketing team goes out to the field or see customer, they need to contact back uh, their, uh, to their headquarters to access particular uh, system or particular information so that they can verify with the headquarters. So, uh, IS is helping mobile digital platform for especially marketers or marketing team. Uh, information system also could transfer business in the form of uh, using it in the uh, big data approach in which uh, many data that we generate during dealing with customer or even uh, internal production process, those are gathering uh, a lot of data and that data could be data mined or translated or manipulated or analyzed so that they can have uh, give a, a value added approach for uh, organization's uh, future strategic planning okay information system could help business as far as uh, centralize their uh, computing needs or data center into actual uh, uh, for example specific location so that all uh, uh, users within the organization can access the same data based on that uh, cloud uh, computing platform such as the one that uh, we uh, sometimes or normally use that we park our data at Google Drive, right? So those are, uh, again, uh, same analogy with organization. Well, internet open up many globalization opportunities uh, and uh, scholars claim that internet has drastically reduced cost of operating business at a global scale. Because nowadays, if you send email or if you share uh, information from uh, your branch in Malaysia to Japan or to US by sending that information, I would say, uh, due to internet, the sending of data cost is actually almost zero or almost negligible in comparison to the olden days in which you need to fax the report or you need to uh, send via uh, physical postal from Malaysia to Japan or to US. Those are actually uh, quite costly. Global uh, opportunity also represent that by having internet, you could say that your market uh, nowadays are no longer localized to Batu Pahat or Johor or Malaysia. When you engage internet platform, it means that your market is actually the world. The world is our market and the world is, uh, is your opportunity. Why? Okay, say you are uh, traveling to KL. Say uh, then you need uh, to stay overnight. So there are many ways you could book a hotel 
uh, an example, I put it here, it's like booking.com. Say you uh, uh, log in into booking.com uh, website and you book hotel at Continental Hotel uh, in Kuala Lumpur. So you book uh, your reservation. So uh, you as customer in KL actually are using a system, booking.com, which is not hosted uh, at Kuala Lumpur, right? That booking.com website is actually hosted in where? Any good guys? Booking.com is headquartered in the Netherlands, in Holland. Do you imagine the uh, customer is in KL, uh, he or she needs a hotel in KL, and but yet due to globalization, you are referring to a server or website which is located or hosted at far there in the Europe at the Netherlands. And you do book your hotel, but you are using the service which is hosted uh, far away there in Europe. Right, so that is that means globalization opportunity. Okay, so equally the same if you are in Netherlands and you are looking for a hotel and perhaps you are accessing a website which is hosted in Kuala Lumpur. So you book your hotel in Netherlands and actually you are using the service hosted in Malaysia. Just for example, to explain about this kind of global uh, globalized market. Right. In other words, information system also helping businesses to uh, keep record their information, transaction, purchasing, payment, and so on. So these record by ISO requirement, right? If the firms are ISO certified, uh, ISO requires that a business organization to keep their five years of business transaction record. So only after five years you could destroy or make it obsolete or you could throw away your records, right? By uh, less than five years, you must comply the ISO requirement to keep your record as long as five years transaction. So there, it is all controlled or managed or maintained by an information system within your organization. Okay, here we take a look on the data in which uh, shows the uh, graph about information technology uh, and uh, capital investment. Okay, so this graph shows in the 1980s, then later 1990s, and later to new millennium year 2000, 2010. Then uh, you could see that the graph back there in the past uh, 30 years or so. Investment, total investment in a company, right? Basically, uh, it is one third, right? Or 32%, 33%, basically related to IT investment in the form of perhaps computers, uh, network, uh, uh, internet service provider, uh, notebook for uh, employees like manager, assistant manager, and engineers. So 30% of uh, business investment actually are buying IT related equipment or uh, computers. Why? Right? So the question is why? Because uh, back then, 30 years ago, we uh, also had good reliance on IT, but nowadays we could say majority of our reliance, like 52% in year 2008 or 2010, or half of the investment are already basically about IT investment, IT related equipment, right? So that is uh, why uh, that is showing that the importance of uh, IT in operating business nowadays. So it has increased from significantly 32% about 30 years ago, now up to 52% uh, in recent years or in recent millennium. Now, I would say that this could be uh, serving as uh, even uh, latest graph, right? I would say uh, here, okay? This uh, figure 1.1 shows that IT capital investment in the quite recent years, for example, 2005, 2010, and even 2015. If you take a look on the investment back then about maybe 10, uh, 15 years ago, Right, so investment into uh, 2005 is actually about 2.5 uh, trillion euros uh, uh, on IT, on many firms, and now 
uh, going to 2015, right, it has increased up to almost uh, 4, right, or 3.75 uh, trillion euros. So, uh, what uh, what if it is 2000, uh, nowadays, uh, 2020, it could be easily reaching about 4 trillion euros investment on IT among many firms. So, this signifies the uh, strong influence of IT in order to operate business nowadays. Okay, so <clears throat> we could say that nowadays many of our transactions are basically emerging into a digital uh, approach, right? Most of our applica applica uh, application nowadays are quite uh, already done digitally. For example, our e-wallet like uh, Touch and Go or Boost, right? Uh, partly, uh, 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 partly it is stimulated by perhaps nowadays uh, COVID-19 pandemic in which it is encouraged not to have a physical hand-to-hand uh, -hand transaction. So many, many applications nowadays are turning into uh, digi digital, uh, digital base like uh, purchasing uh, uh, through Shopee rather than go to shop or mall outlet, uh, physical outlet, right? That give uh, a significant uh, business uh, relationship uh, impact uh, on business uh, as far as uh, IT and digital transaction is concerned, right? Digital firm also nowadays uh, offer uh, more flexibility uh, for their employees in order to work due to uh, time shifting uh, constraint and space shifting constraint and some of constraint related to uh, current pandemic. Okay, take for example a multinational company like Fujitsu, right? Fujitsu company or the manufacturing, manufacturing uh, factory uh, is there next to our UTHM Pariraja campus. So Fujitsu produces uh, re uh, relays, relays uh, component, it's a switching device a uh, uh, thermal uh, head printer for many printers. So it is a worldwide company. So what I want to refer here is basically on uh, time shift and space shift due to information system that is uh, uh, operating globally, right? This is a time shifting in which to say that due to uh, IT uh, information system, we could operate a business around the world 24 hours nonstop. Right, so this is Malaysia. Uh, this is Malaysia basically, and this is Japan, the headquarters for Fujitsu component at uh, Takamisawa, Japan. Right, so and Fujitsu also operates in Europe, and Fujitsu also operates in US. Due to uh, time shifting, basically, if they operate uh, uh, for that same multinational like Fujitsu, basically, if Japan is working. Uh, time uh, uh, time zone uh, basically in the US they are sleeping right but due to uh, IT based system that Fujitsu share the same ERP system uh, around the world so they still can operate uh, or communicate each other in which you could send email or you could send uh, data for US to refer or uh, US uh, can uh, send data for design to Japan so they can uh, uh, continuously sharing data or sending data even though uh, if US is sleeping Japan can still uh, send data or email to US so when they are uh, already uh, working uh, time uh, daytime in their, uh, in their time zone they could open the email and work so this is what you call uh, time shifting. So in which uh, it will not limit uh, people to work only during daytime. So it also some sort of uh, pushing uh, people to work even during nighttime. Technically, which is hosted by uh, an uh, information system. Okay, so let's take a look on the uh, six strategic uh, business uh, objective uh, when uh, using uh, information system okay so this is the slide so there are uh, six component or domain in order to achieve when you use information system for your uh, organization for example the first one operational excellence 
or the second one uh, you uh, need to develop new product or services uh, third one you need to maintain customer relationship or uh, supplier intimacy uh, with uh, with your company uh, the fourth one why you are using information system because it is strategic for you to for managers to improve their decision to be more accurate uh, more strategic uh, and faster okay and due to competitive advantage and uh, the very needs of the organization to survive so let's take a look one by one about this discussion okay these are interdependence between organization uh, and it's it right on the left part is the business right the firms or on the right part is the it system so in between intermediary is software right and this software normally runs on hardware and inside the hardware there are supporting database and it is uh, must be complemented by telecommunication in the form of bandwidth by internet service provider so the business are always interdependent upon it system which is facilitated by software okay let's take a look like at uh, asia asia is acknowledged as having a good it system as far as supporting its business because their IT system is very much up to date. Okay, so this is Air Asia. Okay, uh, in the olden days, when you travel uh, for you, uh, with your airline, you will have this kind of a ticket, right, which is printed in the carbon copy, uh, but the carbon uh, with red color instead of a black color, right? Maybe uh, during your days, you never uh, see this kind of ticket. Right, and this is your boarding pass. Right, so in the olden days, uh, airlines using this kind of uh, red carbon uh, printed uh, airline ticket. But nowadays, due to IT system, right, basically, uh, for example, Air Asia, uh, it is uh, mostly automated by their IT system. For example, uh, your check in, you can uh, you got to check uh, you can check in into. Uh, their uh, airlines uh, by using their website or you can check in in the kiosk or even you can check in uh, through your IT devices so in the olden days the boarding pass uh, uh, was printed uh, by the airline but nowadays you print your own boarding uh, pass uh, from your printer right so the cost has been transferred from the airline company uh, to you as a part of uh, due to the IT uh, technology which is being used by customer so or you could scan uh, the QR code or the barcode those are technologies that is assisted by information system uh, indirectly at Asia though their IT investment uh, costs are high uh, at the initial place but over the time uh, over the four years or five years or ten years uh, this uh, investment is worth it because it will uh, save costs uh, in the perspective of the airline and that cost when it is being saved later transferred to the consumer in the form of lower uh, airline cost or lower ticket uh, cost or lower airfare okay let's uh, cover the first strategic reason why uh, organization uh, use it system uh, which is on the uh, operational excellence so this proposition says that if you use it system in your organization then you can operate excellently to serve your customers in other way right for example in retailing uh, one good example a company that use a significant uh, application of it system is walmart walmart is uh, actually a retail company like uh, uh, so supermarket or superstore, I would say, big uh, big scale. In Malaysia, is comparable to like Tesco, or Giant, and so on. So see how Walmart use their IT system in order to have a competitive edge to their uh, competitor, uh, in order to maintain and improve their uh, operational excellence. Let's take a look at this uh, short video clip uh, uh, for a while. 
Okay, that is showing that uh, the age uh, or the advantage of using IT system that you can really make your business very efficient. Manager can make a decision faster, more efficient and more effective. That is why we have to use uh, information system. Okay, on top of that, if you are uh, using uh, IT, basically uh, you are using it for the purpose of uh, developing a new product, new platform and uh, new services uh, coming out with a new model. So nowadays uh, in the internet era in which uh, many uh, business uh, or music companies or even software companies, uh, they sell their software uh, through internet in which you are no longer in, uh, if you want to install a software into, uh, into your computer, you are no longer needed to buy this kind of CDs and later install it one by one. Nowadays, uh, most software are basically delivered through IT uh, platform in the form of uh, software which is available at Google Play or uh, Apple App Store, right? So those are new business model in comparison to olden days, all based on uh, CDs. Okay, uh, IT also help a business organization in terms of maintaining a good relationship with customer and also maintaining good intimacy with their suppliers, right? So for example, Holiday Inn uh, is one aspect of a company uh, that uh, make use of a good uh, IT system in order to maintain relation with uh, their customers, right? And other uh, e-commerce company like Amazon, they are also highly dependent on IT system in order to operate their business, uh, getting orders from their customers and sending product uh, to their customers, all mostly hosted by a good and uh, fast uh, processor, uh, fast uh, computer uh, as far as their processor and their server. Okay, by using IT system, uh, we can uh, make uh, improve decision making or better decision by the managers because by using computers or IT system, you can make better forecast for the next uh, year or for the next five years, right? Instead of using just guesses or lucky number. So by using IT system also, especially if uh, uh, using MRP, um, Material Resource Planning or ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, you can control your production so that it is not overproduction or underproduction. You can allocate resources or raw material at the right time, at the right place, right? You can expect uh, to, uh, to give customer a good lead time, uh, expected uh, shipment uh, or delivery to customer in a very more accurate manner. So those are basically assisted by uh, IT system. You can have better advantage by using IT system in your company, for example, Dell, right? In order to have a better interactivity with customer, you could uh, order Dell computer and you could specify your spe specification, for example, what kind of processor uh, that you want. Uh, or what kind of uh, RAM, how big uh, is uh, the RAM that you want. So you could dictate or make choice or selection those kind of uh, specification at Dell website and Dell could uh, get, turn this uh, as a better offering to customer and by that Dell has better competitive advantage compared to other companies within the same uh, kind of uh, chain uh, of business. Okay, uh, among last but not least, uh, IT system is basically a means uh, to survive in business, right? Because nowadays you could see many banks are basically automating their service. For example, uh, the ATMs, for example, the CDM, cash uh, uh, deposit machine, uh, for example, uh, you want to transfer money, nowadays you can do it uh, either from your mobile or from your uh, e-banking uh, account or from uh, of course at the ATM machine. So these are basically about survival. So in order to keep surviving in business, you really need to automate your system partly by using IT equipment and also IT uh, based system. Okay, I think this is uh, about uh, 30 minutes plus. So I need to uh, stop uh, for a while uh, to create this lecture for part one. And we uh, stop uh, for a while here and later I will continue another uh, part for the part two. Uh, thank you uh, for listening to my lecture. 
we will continue at this uh, uh, subtopic perspective on information system later. Thank you.